The main challenge in enforcement is that the vast majority of scams are perpetrated by syndicates that are based overseas. Such cases are difficult to investigate and to prosecute for three reasons. Firstly, our ability to solve these cases depends on the level of cooperation from overseas law enforcement agencies as well as their ability to track down scammers in their own jurisdictions. Second, these scammers are typically part of an organized syndicate, criminal syndicates, and they run sophisticated transnational operations which are not easy to detect or to dismantle. The syndicates are well resourced and adept at using technology to cover their tracks. And thirdly, when monies have already been transferred out of Singapore, recovery is very difficult. SPF works closely with our overseas counterparts to exchange information and conduct joint operations. For example, in 2021, SPF's collaboration with law enforcement agencies such as the Royal Malay Malaysia Police as well as Hong Kong led to the takedown of 16 scam syndicates and the arrest of around, arrest of around 20, 230 persons. Nevertheless, with whatever resources we have, we have reorganized ourselves for greater efficiency and effectiveness. For example, the SPF set up the Anti-Scam Centre, or ASC, in 2019 as a specialised unit focused on anti-scam interventions and enforcement. In 2021, the ASC conducted 26 island-wide anti-scam operations, which resulted in the arrest of around 7,500 money mules and scammers. The ASC also partners private sector stakeholders to disrupt scammers' operations. For example, it has worked with telecommunication companies to terminate scam-tainted phone lines and with online marketplaces to remove suspicious online, online monikers and advertisements. Since 2019, the ASC has frozen around 24,000 bank accounts suspected of being involved in scam activities and recovered about $160 million in scam proceeds. This would include part of the $70 million loss since 2020 to about 1,300 cases of phishing scams involving spoofed SMSs impersonating banks in Singapore, a question which Dr. Tan Wu Meng asked about. SPF does not track the amount of funds recovered by the scam type. Recoveries of monies lost to scams is very difficult. Where we have been able to, it involved close partnerships with financial institutions, in particularly by having a DBS staff co-located with SPF at the Anti-Scam Centre to provide swifter and real-time coordination and intervention. ASC and MAS are working with more banks to co-locate their staff at the ASC to further enhance the ASC's capabilities to freeze accounts as well as to trace the flows of money. SPF will be forming an anti-scam command this year to consolidate expertise in scams across the SPF land units and thereby further improve coordinations of anti-scam enforcement and investigations. The command will also oversee the newly formed scam strike teams in the seven land divisions which were set up to enable us to take swifter actions against scams. Another example is the SPF and MAS's ongoing study with banks to explore the use of enhanced fraud surveillance systems based on artificial intelligence to flag suspicious transactions and identify possible fraudulent behaviour in real time. 